right, you guys, so today I'm going to show you the easiest way to walk your boat um, sideways away from a pier. Now, this particular type of walk cannot always be done, and there are some scenarios that will make this walk look better. Um, it's essentially a crab walk as we come out. I'll, I'll describe that a little bit more as we get further in the video. But I'm going to play along with the throttles as we go to kind of give you an idea what you should do. This is four twin screw boat, by the way. Um, but the main thing I'm going to uh, instruct you on in this video is what to look for um, in order to make this happen prior. Because sometimes this takes a little bit of planning beforehand. There are certain things that makes this easier and makes this maneuver prettier. So I'm assuming that this is a fuel dock. You've just uh, launched your boat or uh, come out of your slip and you're going to approach the fuel dock to get your day started. Um, you know, that's the dock everybody's at, everybody's watching. And that's you know, one of these reasons that you want to use this more show off maneuver, which it's really not showing off. It's very simple as long as you plan properly. So this particular method works pretty much only when the wind is running parallel to the dock. Um, it does not work when it's perpendicular to the dock. Um, you can get a lot more in depth with these maneuvers and things to watch out for uh, to try to walk away from the dock when the wind is running perpendicular. So in this case, the wind's going that way. And this is our boat, and it's currently tied up alongside the pier. So we could have tied up this way. We could have done that. But in our case, we wanted our stern facing the wind. The reason we wanted our stern facing the wind is because the, the bow always falls in behind. So we approached our fuel dock and we knew that the wind was running parallel to the dock and our goal was to perform, perform a nice maneuver leaving the dock, get plenty of clearance away from the dock so that once we pull forward and possibly have to make a turn, we don't have to worry about our stern swinging into a piling or the dock itself, depending on how yours is built. So, we always planned to use our stern against the wind. So we've just finished fueling and it's time to leave the dock. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to apply a little bit of twist to the boat. We're going to give a little bit of port forward and a little bit of stern, or a little bit of a starboard a stern. We're only going to bump those in for just a moment and we're probably going to end up some, with something along the lines of this. The bow may be laying up against this piling right here, but that's perfectly fine. And we're gonna let that settle out. Since you just kept them in gear for just a moment, in fact, you were probably doing a two-handed maneuver, something that ended up looking like this. Probably less than a second in gear. You're gonna let that momentum finish out there. The wind would now technically be blowing your stern down a little bit. So what your goal here is gonna be, is to just straighten the boat out. So you're gonna give uh, some starboard forward and some port astern. And what's that, and what that little bump is gonna do is straighten you out. So it could potentially go a little bit further, but more than likely you're gonna end up fairly well straight. And because it's easier for a boat to push forward than it is to push astern, you may have even built up a little bit of forward momentum, which is a good thing. Um, you're, because you're going to cancel that forward momentum with some starboard astern. And once that starboard astern is, or once that forward momentum is canceled with your starboard astern, you're doing something along the lines of this you can then give a slight amount of port astern 
And if you start slightly moving backwards, you can go ahead and get some starboard forward, which is gonna end you up with something like this. These are just quick, short shifts. So you're not actually doing a perfect perpendicular walk. You're using the wind to your advantage because the bow falls behind your stern. You're using the wind as your advantage to slowly cancel forward and reverse momentum and applying some small twists. And you're doing a maneuver sort of like this. And you will eventually, slowly, make your way away from the pier. And it looks great from the pier itself. People will be in awe of how you did this. And now this maneuver also works whenever you are going approaching the pier. Whenever the wind is going perpendicular, for instance, there's a boat right here along these two pilings right here. You could have made your approach from this way, or suppose this way, and then you're going to slowly use that twisting motion. For instance, right here, you would give some starboard a stern and maybe some port forward, depending on whether or not you had fore or aft momentum, to straighten yourself up. And remember, there's a boat along these two pylons or somewhere around here. What you're going to end up doing is going downwind of them and slowly working your way to the top. It's very simple. It takes practice. Um, I hope I was able to explain this well enough for you. Um, it, it is sort of difficult to explain and not show, but it's also very difficult to make a video showing. Um, I feel like it would take me quite a while to get multiple shots to really explain everything that I did here. So as long as you get my terminology and uh, maybe watch this video a couple times, this should help you get an idea of maneuvering away from the pier when you have this particular wind direction. And very rarely is it gonna be that perfect. Just the closer it is to parallel, the more perfect this maneuver works. So sometimes your wind direction may be 45 of here. Once you get your bow far enough away from the pier, you can actually begin that walk and you can start walking 45 degrees from the pier. Very beautifully too. Um, and once you get far enough away, suppose you have to turn around, you can go ahead and pivot and go on your way. Or once you get far enough away, you can just slowly hard run over and go forward away that way or whichever way you really need to. But I hope this video was some help to you. Check out some of the other ones I have on here have a video on how to walk a boat sideways no matter what the case um, depending on whether or not your boat falls into the categories to perform the maneuver um, without a bow thruster also and I also have uh, some videos on how to go against the pier or how to dock against the pier when the wind is blowing you down so check check my videos out guys maybe leave some comments with some questions um, this video may not work for some of you and like I said it is very difficult for me to put these words and or, or put this maneuver into words without actually doing it but i hope it was help subscribe comment send me any questions you have thanks guys